Hi everyone, welcome to video series dedicated to learning Microsoft Fabric. My name is Fikrat Azizov and today we are exploring two activities. Uh, sending email uh, using Office uh, 365 activity and uh, sending team messages using Teams uh, activity. Um, I'm gonna use pipelines that we have created uh, in the last video dedicated to uh, building iterative logic. So I have my pipeline, uh, which I'm going to open and make some modification to it. Uh, okay, let me briefly describe your pipelines that we created in last video. So uh, we have a lookup activity, which reads from customer table. Um, and then result from this activity is assigned to name list variable. Uh, name list is array type variable. And uh, name list variables and feeds for each um, activity. So basically, it serves as an item collection for, for each activity and within for each we have store procedure so my plan is to add teams message activity here so that uh, to inform common channel about pipelines execution status and I am going to add uh, email notification uh, to be sent so to be sent to each customer which we will be, uh, which my lookup activity will produce for. So let me first start with lookup, uh, revise my query here. So I'll remove customer ID, I, I no longer need that. And I'll replace it with email address field. Um, next, I'm gonna double click and revise my for each activity. So I, I no longer need the store procedure, I'll remove this. And instead I'll add email. So Office 365 Outlook activity. And I'll call it Send emails to customers, and uh, now I'll, I can configure my Outlook activity. So I, uh, first thing, first I need to sign in. Um, now I need to set up a uh, two field, um, so recipient field. For this, I can use add dynamic content. So I'm going to use expression builder. So I expect this field to be supplied by for each activity. So I'll tell, I'll say use current item. So I will use this expression. And uh, uh, because this re each record for um, for this itera iteration comes with three fields, uh, I am going to use email. So I'll say email address. So this will extract email address from each record. Hit OK. And I'll put some sample subject.
um, I can use dynamic variables um, and the functions for body uh, email body as well so I will scroll down and click view in expression builder and here I'll need to build some expression to produce a string a body string that I am looking for so I will switch to functions and uh, I will look for concatenation func function on the string category so this is my concat function and so my first string will be the uh, and then I can add so and here I can add the name of the customer and this will be supplied dynamically I'll need to switch to here and pull that variable from here so it is going to be item and then I'll say use first name field from this and I can add the rest of the message hit OK and that would conclude my email notification configuration and I can go back to main pipeline and now I'm going to add teams activity I'll put link between this and uh, I'll call this as I'll switch to settings and I'll need to sign in here as well. okay so here I need to select channel so we have group chat and the channel options I'll select channel and I'll need to pick up the channel here so I'll select Microsoft channel and uh, sorry Microsoft team and here I'm going to select uh, general channel here I can use uh, these dynamic variables and so I can say if I click see more I can get more pipeline information variable system variable so I'm going to use pipeline name as a variable here and I'll say Okay, now I can save my pipeline and run it. So my pipeline has completed I'm gonna examine the results so we can see that uh, we have for each 
customer activity has sent one email per customer I'm gonna go and check my sent items box um, as you can see that for uh, we have sent uh, email for each customer so we have email address here and we have name uh, everything as we expected and if I go to channel teams channels I'm going to check Microsoft in general and we can see that information uh, about complete uh, my pipelines completion has been successfully posted here that concludes today's session uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in future videos.